and we have a debate in the United States about whether it's proper or even legal to do this. In 2020, the Supreme Court took two cases from faithless electors in Colorado and Washington state that occurred in the Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump election in 2016. And the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that states have the power to set up laws to bind electors to vote according to state instructions. And as we said, in each state, that instruction is to be bound by the popular vote, that the state can refuse to certify votes from faithless electors, can replace them, can fine and punish them for um, this going on. Um, this was the first time the Supreme Court actually weighed in on this. And so what we have now, we have 32 states out of the 50 that do have these laws that bind electors to vote the popular vote. There are still 18 that don't have an instruction, and therefore uh, it, it, in those states it's still not clear what would happen since they're not being faithless uh, technically to any state law. If there's state law changes, this court certainly could be called upon to say what the, whether those changes were legitimate. I don't anticipate any of the 32 that do require this pledge going back 